Hello everyone! Uh, in this video I'm gonna show you a gold farm that is super simple um, where you farm actually the stringy wolf meat. Um, we're gonna farm them uh, in Molgor. I'm gonna farm them over here. So you just start getting the buff with, with Boon of Black Fathom. I, I also highly recommend that you have skinning with this one because you're gonna get a, like well not a lot but yeah, some skinning. And uh, basically, you start with the. Uh, it's uh, it's highly recommended that you actually have the boon of Black Fathom because you're gonna run faster between the mobs. But you start over here in Thunderbluff, and then you just keep running, like this. Pretty much, and especially around this part, because this part there's a lot of level five wolves, and the wolves drops the stringy wolf meat, which sells. Uh, uh by itself it's not that great it's only one silver 95 at uh, 94 at the moment but the trick with it is to to farm let's see here the spiced wolf meat at the moment it's not that much higher but if you keep uh if you look a bit closer i'm gonna move the window i think give me a second here just so we can see it better you see the whole thing yeah there you go um if i hover over it you can see sold um min uh, min min uh wait check it actually says sold min average max buy so um the minimum is 90 95 copper um that i sold it for i think that was very early in uh, the the release but if you do an average around that, like a medium of those three, the 95 copper, three silver and 22 copper, and then you have the nine silver and 49 copper. So let's do an average here. Uh, let's pull out the calculator. So we have, here we go, because we're gonna do it in decimals. So 0 0.0095 plus 0 0.0095 plus 0 0.0949 divided by 3 because it's three different ones you have an average about around 4 copper and 50 uh, no, 4 silver and 50 copper so then you have the medium there not like the average that you can get you can get more of course if you wait for it, the price to go up but we got 136 of them so they can have the you have the the amount times 136 so that's six gold an hour six gold and around 20 silver and um, also during this route you can see there's a lot uh, a few striders and the swoop ones uh, like the big bird ones that is flying around those drops the small egg uh, the swoop one is uh, in my opinion i feel have a high drop chance of them uh, I didn't get that many in one hour because the one the the thing I have in, in bags is from one hour of farming, and I would skip the mountain lion completely because they drop oh, pretty much only like gray stuff, and with this method that I'm doing, uh, if I'm doing like until I have a full bag, I would uh, use my dejunk add-on which is over here, where I can spam click to destroy all the grays in my bags because they don't give that much. Even though it might be a weapon, uh, the, um, the amount of time it's gonna take for you to run back and sell or like Hearthstone up here or wherever, it feels like you, you during that time you can get more by just keep farming and destroying the grays. So that's what I've done. And during this farm I also got the ruined leather scrap, which is from skinning. We got 183, of, uh, 82 of them. Uh, I think you need three to in order to craft one uh, leather. So we have 181 divided by three. So that's 60 light leather worth of ruined leather scrap, which means that if you would pick up skinning, you would you can scale. I think you could scale all the way to 60. Maybe not all the way, but if you do all of them, you would be well on your way to max max it out because then you have even more light leather. 
And if you don't have lead working, you're missing out on a big profit, um, a really big profit profession. So yeah, I would really get that one. And if you don't have cooking, this is a super simple way because if you would get 10 small eggs in an hour, the the first thing that you actually learn from the cooking vendor i can actually do that now let's run up there because you don't need a particular skill yeah i can actually show you the, the what i mean this is perfect i actually don't have cooking on this one but i can show you what i mean you can actually learn cooking if you don't have it go over here learn cooking we we'll drag it out to the bar you see, first one is actually herbed baked eggs. We only need the milled spice ones. And we only need 10 skills, for example. Because if you take a look, we're soon going to be there. Because if you look over here, required skill 10. So technically, you, you like you can do this farm like you don't you can learn the cooking while doing this. You, you like you can farm up the materials while leveling while skilling the profession also which is very nice so look now for example we have 10 skill i can learn this one and you are gonna require a few of these so let's buy out some more and see how many yeah but like we can we can make 136 of them so remember what i said is there's six gold from just doing this if you like and you can probably do it even more efficiently than i did uh 100 you can um but yeah then you can like skill leather working and yeah make a lot of profit on it and even if you have like even if you actually have leather working on your main or anything you can make the, the the ruined the ruined leather scrap into light leather then you can make the light leather into medium leather and then you can make the leather uh, medium leather into heavy leather if you want to do that so yeah i i highly recommend this farm um yeah i don't think i missed anything well i got the the malasite and i also got this one which is kind of funny uh, we're actually farming uh, the eggs also and the funnily, funnily enough we actually got the herb to bake baked one so technically if you don't if you're not friendly already with the with the Durator faction you can actually uh, rep grind while you're doing this if you're lucky enough to get the specific one mm -hmm. but yeah you can also get this uh, spiced wolf meat one but yeah I I would say that you can probably if you if you're smart enough with all the leathers and craft great profits on it I would say that you can probably make yeah, you can roast me in the comment if you think I'm saying way too loud but I think like if you're very smart with it you can probably make between 12 and 20 golds an hour that's what I believe if you just keep doing it and if you wait for the price to go up on stuff which i which i usually do because if they're too cheap i either i wait or i buy out the auction house and just sell them because people are always going to need them so yeah i hope you enjoy this one and i'll see you in the next one remember to leave a like in the comment in the comment wait what oh see you in the next one